Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a very interesting uh, review for you. Uh, this is a shoe that I bought from Decathlon. It is called the Kalenji Active Run. Sorry, Run Active Grip. It. Um, let me show you why. It's a, you see the outsole over there? It's pretty grippy, but I have some serious beef with it. And it's something that I really have to share with you now. First and foremost, this is actually a very cheap shoe. It's about almost about 30 USDs. You can get it out of Decathlon. Yeah. I mean, they're not too bad if you're, you're expecting something very basic. But let me tell you what. This grip here is deceiving. What you're actually getting is a running shoe that has zero grip. Um, when it's wet on hard slippery surfaces um, I've been wearing this for a bit um, the drop over here if you can see it, the drop here is actually quite uncomfortable at first it feels like you know uh, it's probably encouraging you to maybe lift off better or what but it's just somehow poorly designed for my feet I'm quite a pronator aka a flat footer and this it's not giving me enough rigidity because there's like it's basically soft material here. There's no hard plastic here, hard support. I mean that's fine, but something's just wrong about it. The insole, oh goodness, I gotta really tell you the insole. Sorry, the midsole. It feels like running on hard cardboard. The tapers off at the end, of course. It's so stiff, it gives you no cushioning. I mean, that's fine if you're in the kind of thing, but let me tell you what, it's uncomfortable AF. The worst thing I had to contend with it is, um, my knees hurt. So it, it doesn't feel very natural when you need to do, um, what's this thing called? A, uh, forefoot running or midfoot running, but, so, because of the bulkiness of the midsole. So what I had to do was actually run more towards a heel to mid kind of running style. Uh, mid foot to heel strike kind of a running style. And, but that is going to rely more on the cushioning of the sole rather than, you know, the natural cushioning capabilities of your own foot system. And the worst thing about it is it's giving me knee pain. I mean, I have osteoarthritis in my knees and this is not helping me at all. So I'm here to give you a bit of a warning. You might have a certain use case for this, maybe for outdoors, maybe for walking, you know, long distance. I'm not too confident with it if I could actually use it for long distance or even, you know, outdoor running. I'm not too sure about it, but... I find very limited uses for this and I'm not very happy with this. It's really not worth the money spent. Uh, I really do feel that it would have been way better if I actually used the money and buy something a bit more expensive. Um, so far, top feels cheap. I really wanted a budget shoe but this is just not my money's worth. Yeah, really, really not my money's worth. Uh, I was definitely looking for something a bit more outdoorsy, a bit more grippy, but this is really, really slippery. Somehow just on gravel, on tarmac, it's really slippery, especially when it's wet. Um, you know, on, on like slippery wet surfaces, um, it's even worse. The whole thing is just not right. So for my, um, just for size comparison, I used to wear Nikes with um, US 8.5, the US 9 size. This is a US 9.5, so it's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. Yeah, and it doesn't go all the way to the toe. I mean, my toe is all, like, it stops about somewhere right here, so it's fine. So yeah, personally I think stay away from these, these are nasty Decathlons, Kalenji, running shoes, outdoor, active grip, R run active grip, well, that's the one that they have on the website, I'll list it, 
on the title of the video for your reference you might want to stay away from these these are nasty i am not too sure i've not reviewed i've not really ran in any of the decathlon shoes yes the decathlon shoes from uh from whatever range they have but this one feels terrible I have my doubts on buying another shoe from Decathlon. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure and uh, glad to be able to post up again. So stay tuned. I have another shoe coming up very soon. And see you in the next one.